Hey, what's up guys? Kyle Hatch here. I just wanted to give you some quick advice on how to color correct your photos before you upload them to the internet. When people see your photos, they're gonna be like, oh, oh my pants, they are a mess right now. You get the idea, you're gonna look good. All right, first things first, we need a photo. When taking a photo, just act natural. Don't try to look like some sort of professional model. But don't worry, when you're done with this video, you're gonna look better than a professional model. Just take something, you know, something like this. Perfect. That looks really good. We're gonna wanna throw that photo into your favorite photo editing application. It doesn't matter which one because they are all equally the same. The first thing you wanna do is apply a filter called brightness and contrast. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give a much broader dynamic range to your photo because real life is actually very boring and dull looking. So if you apply the filter, you'll see two sliders, one for brightness and one for contrast. Go ahead and click and hold on the contrast slider and ever so carefully slide it to the right until it won't go any further. You'll see the number change. It'll actually hit about a hundred. That's what we want. hundred is a signal that you've hit the sweet spot. Now that we've applied the contrast, you're probably thinking, wow, my photo looks better already. What else is there? Well, there's a few more things. Go ahead and click and hold on the brightness slider and just like its best friend, contrast, we're gonna wanna slide it over to the right. Send it on down to that sweet spot so it can, it can buddy up with his friend. Whew. Wow. Incredible. Well, we're almost there and uh, we're looking pretty good. The very next thing you want to do is apply a filter called hue and saturation. Hue and saturation is going to breathe new life into the color of your photo because like before, real life is very bland, very dull. We're going to change that. Apply the filter and head on over to the slider settings. You'll find one labeled saturation. Click on this slider and just nudge it gently to the right. You'll start to see immediate results. Keep on going until you find that perfect sweet spot right around 100. Just kind of slam the slider over to the right. What you're gonna notice now is that your skin resembles someone who likes to spend a lot of time outside, developing a nice natural glowing tan. And uh, this is exactly what we're going for. It, it tells the viewer that, that you're fun and adventurous and, and just naturally beautiful. One more step and then we'll be done. Go ahead and apply the filter called noise reduction. Noise reduction is a very cool filter. Basically this filter removes unwanted wrinkles blemishes and other imperfections on your face so take the slider you know what you can actually just enter the number in manually so click on the number and uh, just type in 100 and hit enter and the slider will just jump right to the end now uh, noise reduction might take a little time to render but once it's done immediately you're gonna see beautifully smooth glowing tan skin I mean you're gonna look fantastic I mean wow just look at this photo I look incredible. All right, well, that's the end of this um, this photo editing tutorial. Uh, you're welcome and uh, congratulations because you did it. You're beautiful and you're gonna you're gonna fool your friends into thinking that as well. Um, as long as you stay indoors and uh, don't interact with anyone, no one's ever gonna know that this isn't the real you. But that's not what matters. What matters is what you look like on the internet. Thank you.